Good afternoon, fellow teachers. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. My talk today will deal primarily with the different pedagogical approaches. Our primary concern as teachers are the learners. We have to teach in order for our students to learn something. We use some tools in teaching, such as books, visuals, and any other suitable materials. However, Teaching is not as easy as that because we also have to be aware of the five pedagogical approaches which can enhance the process of learning. Let's have some refreshments before we go deeper into the topic. What do you think pedagogy means? Simply put, pedagogy is how teachers teach. What are the teachers' style of teaching? Pedagogy also is the science and art of teaching. Science, because it involves the knowledge of theories of learning and instructional strategies for teaching. Art, because it correctly puts theories into practice and builds up teaching experiences. How about pedagogical approaches? They are the overall perspectives used to plan and implement one or more instructional strategies. According to R810-533, an act known as Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, particularly Section 5E, the curriculum shall use pedagogical approaches such as constructivism, inquiry-based, Reflective, Collaborative, and Integrative. For us to easily memorize these approaches, let's remember 2C, 2I, and 1R. Constructivism, Collaborative, Inquiry-based, Integrative, and Reflective. Let's talk about the first approach, the first C, Constructivism. Constructivist teaching is based on constructivist learning theory. It is based on the belief that learning occurs as learners are actively involved in a process of meaning and knowledge construction as opposed to passively receiving information. Learners are the makers of meaning and knowledge. Constructivism promotes meaning-making, as well as social and active learning. It fosters critical thinking and provides learners with a learning environment that helps them make connections with their learning. The first strategy under constructivist approach is thinking skills. This strategy strives to improve achievement by consciously developing learners' ability to consider ideas, analyze perspectives, solve problems, and make decisions on their own. Suggested activity is the RMFD activity. RMFD stands for Recall the Past Experiences, Model How to Follow Procedures and Steps, Familiarize by repeating the performance or scaffolding, and decide or form a conclusion. The suggested form of assessment for this type of strategy is through the use of OBP or Outcomes-Based Performance Rubrics. OBP rubrics include the criteria, category, its weight and performance indicators with corresponding scores. Second constructivism strategy is the activity-based strategy. It may be an individual or group activity. It promotes experiential learning opportunities such as purposeful conversation, project planning, hands-on inquiry, analysis, and product creation. We can use this strategy by using the three A's activity. Act, by giving simple workshops or coaching. Analyze, compare and abstract. 
and apply, use and implement. We can assess this strategy through paper presentation, PowerPoint presentation, project exhibits, and activities that will demonstrate the multiple intelligences of the learner. The third strategy under constructivist approach is the direct instruction. Direct instruction guides or models the learning in the quickest way because teachers provide the learning. Students model teachers' words and actions. One technique to use this strategy is through the TGA activity. Tell, give guidance, guide, facilitate the process, and act. Apply the concept. Assessment tools can be laboratory experiment results, template completion, and framework creation or interpretation. Practical examples of constructivist approach are experiments, field trips, film showing or reaction paper, and discussions. The second C is the collaborative approach. This approach requires learners to work together towards a common goal. Collaborative learning is a situation in which two or more people learn or attempt to learn something together. This type of learning has been called in various names like collective learning, learning communities, peer teaching, peer learning, or team learning. Learners engage in a common task in which each individual depends on and is accountable to each other. Unlike individual learning, people engage in collaborative learning capitalize on one another's resources and skills, asking one another for information, evaluating one another's ideas, monitoring one another's work, etc. More specifically, collaborative learning is based on the model that knowledge can be created within a population where members actively interact by sharing experiences and take on asymmetry roles. The first strategy under collaborative approach is online collaborative. It prepares learners to be responsible individuals in a technologically advanced society. Projects and activities given by the teachers shall reflect students' current and future needs. It uses the internet for assigning tasks or group work. Teachers prepare the learners in becoming responsible netizens. We can use this strategy through CPFM activity. C is for create transparency of expectations. P is to provide clear instructions. F, form small groups. And M, monitor and support. You can also integrate information technology or IT in the lessons. Assessments are through project presentation, paper presentation, and action research and formal essay for senior high school. Second is the Jigsaw Method. Jigsaw method is a cooperative learning technique in which learners work in small groups. It can be used in a variety of ways for a variety of goals that allows for an efficient way for learners to learn content, develop their listening, engagement, and empathy skills aside from allowing them to interact among each other and work independently. Learners work in a small group and letting them interact with other groups to gather small pieces of information that would later be combined to form more information. We may employ the TDAR activity in this approach. TDAR activity stands for Think, Analysis of the Problem, Discuss, Share Ideas on How to Solve the Problem, Act, Act Collaboratively, and Reflect, Introspect on the Results Made by the Group. 
assessment may be in the form of group paper introspection related to experiences and feelings toward the group discussion, product of the group in line with the rubrics provided by the teacher. Just as a jigsaw puzzle is a collection of various pieces that come together to make a complete picture, the jigsaw method of teaching is a collection of topics which will be fully developed by students before coming together to make a complete idea. To be more specific, this type of cooperative learning strategy allows individuals or small groups to become responsible for a subcategory of a larger topic. After researching and developing their idea, each individual or small group then has the responsibility to teach it to the rest of the group or class. Think-Pair-Share is a third strategy under collaborative approach. It is a strategy in which students work together to solve a problem or answer a question. Students think through questions using three distinct steps, TPS, think, pair, and share. This approach introduces the 2D2M activity. Decide upon the problem issue to be solved. Describe the purpose of the strategy and provide guidelines for discussions. Model, ensure that students understand how to use the strategy and monitor support students as they work group powerpoint presentation paper reflection or self-assessment observation checklist to monitor desirable attitudes of the learners during collaborative work or some assessment tools to be used here how to use think pair share strategy Decide upon the text to be read and develop the set of questions or prompts that target key content concepts. Describe the purpose of the strategy and provide guidelines for discussions. Model the procedure to ensure that students understand how to use the strategy. And monitor and support students as they work through the following. T. Think. Teachers begin by asking a specific question about the text. Students think about what they know or have learned about the topic. P. Pair. Each student should be paired with another student or a small group. S. Share. Students share their thinking with their partner. Then teachers expand the share into a whole class discussion. The next strategy is the Integrated Process Approach or the Project Management, a highly collaborative activity for it requires the whole team to think of the entire project and all of its systems together, emphasize connections and improve communication among students and stakeholders throughout the life of a project. In this type, learners can involve the community, other subjects, books, any viewed or listened information that is related to the topic that is given by the teacher, simply involving other things wherein they can integrate or solve problems by using different resources. The process of this strategy is as follows. Think of the project as a whole, focus on life cycle design, work together as a team from the beginning, Conduct assessments like threat vulnerability assessments and risk analysis to help identify requirements and set goals. Develop tailored solutions that yield multiple benefits while meeting requirements and goals. Evaluate solutions. Ensure requirements and goals are met. And emphasize the integrated process. Employ the following assessment tools paper presentation, project presentation, exhibit, case studies presentation, debates results, demonstrations, and collaborative writing. Peer teaching involves learners taking on a teaching role in the school setting. This strategy can be reciprocal teaching, 
peer tutoring, and cooperative learning. Reciprocal teaching involves two different individuals with different sexes, level of intelligence, social status, religion, etc. Peer tutoring could be one-on-one -on -one basis or can be performed on small groups. Cooperative learning involves a larger crowd, a certain student standing in front of the class. This strategy makes use of the AFA activity. That stands for assign and design the lesson, facilitate the lesson, and assess their peers. Paper presentation, PowerPoint presentation, and group reports are the common assessment for this. Peer teaching is one of the best ways to master a particular subject. It is a method of teaching where a student instructs another student wherein the former will be an expert and the latter a novice. This paves the learner student to learn without depending upon the teacher and the teacher student to revise the topic again on the belief that to teach is to learn twice by Collins. Through the direct interaction between students, peer teaching promotes active learning as well as participation within themselves. Student teachers enhance their own depth of knowledge in the topic by instructing others. Practical examples of collaborative approach are Think Aloud Pair Problem Solving or the TAPPS TAPS One student is reading the question, the other is on the board to solve or answer. Second practical example is the group grid. The teacher could give a blank concept with jumbled information. Then students will work as group to arrive on the desired concept, idea, or general concept. The first I of 2C2I1R in the third pedagogical approach is integrative. Integrative learning is a learning theory describing a movement toward integrated lessons, helping students make connections across curricula. This higher education concept is distinct from the elementary and high school integrated curriculum movement. Integrated studies involve bringing together traditionally separate subjects so that students can grasp a more authentic understanding. Interdisciplinary curricula has been shown by several studies to support students' engagement and learning, specifically integrating science with reading comprehension and writing lessons has been shown to improve students' understanding in both science and English language arts. It aims to connect what is learned in school to real-life situations. Thus, it is more on developing problem-solving and discussions of issues in the real world. The scaffold knowledge integration is the first strategy. It makes thinking visible. Model scientific thinking scaffolds students to make their thinking visible, provides multiple representations, helps students learn from others, encourages listening to others, designs discussions, highlights cultural norms, promotes autonomy and lifelong learning, encourages monitoring, provides complex projects, visits and generalized inquiry processes and scaffolds critic. The 4A activities involved in this strategy. 4A stands for activity, build on students' ideas, Analysis, make thinking visible. Abstraction, encourage listening to others. And the application, promote autonomy or lifelong learning. You can assess learning through group work presentation, projects exhibit. Next is the content-based instruction or the CBI. CBI lesson focuses on the topic or subject matter using the language they are trying to learn as a tool for developing knowledge. They develop their linguistic ability in the target language with the 
content of a particular subject. This is thought to be a more natural way of developing language ability and one that corresponds more to the way we originally learned our first language. The 4A's activity is also applied here. Activity, Analysis, Abstraction, and Application PowerPoint presentation, paper, and action research for senior high schools are the usual assessment tools for this. CBI is centered on the subject matter. The approach aims to develop the student's language and academic skills. These skills are developed unconsciously through the content dealt with. If the information delivered through the content is interesting and useful, learners should acquire the language faster. In addition, the language acquisition process may be more efficient and the language learners more motivated. CBI has six these features. Themes, central ideas that organize major curricular units, Text, content resources which drive the basic planning of team units, topics, subunits of content which explore specific aspects of the theme, threads, linkages across themes which create greater curricular coherence, tasks, instructional activities and techniques utilized, transitions, explicitly planned actions which provide coherence across topics in a theme unit and across tasks within topics. Thematic teaching and learning by design is a third strategy under integrative approach. It integrates basic discipline of all subjects acquires knowledge best when learning in the context of a coherent whole and when they can connect what they're learning to the real world. It seeks to put the teaching of cognitive skills such as reading, mathematics, science, and writing in the context of a real-world subject that is both specific enough to be practical and broad enough to allow creative exploration. It makes use of the AACE activity. Apply, being creative. Analyze, being critical. Conceptualize, design, theory, and experience new concept with celebration. One way to check if the teacher is using thematic approach is the bulletin board display where lessons in different learning areas are connected to each other and focus on the theme culminating performance. Sample instructional activities related to the theme poverty. For English, have a panel discussion on the roots of poverty. For Filipino, discuss ang paksiw na ayungin which deals on poverty. For AP, discuss definition of poverty through an interview. Science, discuss or state how science and technology could lessen poverty. Math, answer mathematical problems related to the issue of poverty. TLE, list the needs of the family. Prepare or make projects that be solved to increase family income. And the culminating activity, immersion or exposure to poor areas in the community. That is a sample instructional activities. Through thematic teaching. Strategies under this approach can also be categorized as follows. Educational technology uses technological tools like media, machines, and networking hardware, lecture method, an oral presentation by the teacher that relays on factual information, learner's role is just to listen, discussion method, two-way communication between teacher and learner, take into consideration that lecture is different from discussion, buzz groups, Larger groups are divided to smaller groups and given one or more topics to discuss. Brainstorming. All information under the sun from all the learners are welcomed as long as it is related to the given topic. 
The practical examples of this approach are demonstration, Socratic method or the direct approach. In Socratic teaching, we focus on giving students questions, not answers. We model an inquiring, probing mind by continually probing into the subject with questions. Computer integration, simulation or games, may it be human simulation or role playing, person computer simulation games or application downloaded that can be manipulated by the learner. Graphic organizer, may it be sequential timeline sequencing events is also considered as graphic organizer. Single main concept like mind maps, infographics, concept maps, and fishbone charts. Moving on to the next I of the pedagogical approaches, inquiry-based approach. Inquiry-based approach is acquiring or obtaining information through investigation carried out by the learners who are eager to know the phenomenon in question. It is used to engage learners of all ages to learn by exploration and discovery. As learners investigate, they build their understanding and create meaning and new knowledge on a certain content or topic. The process of inquiry begins with gathering information and data through seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, and smelling. The first strategy under inquiry-based approach is the cyclic inquiry model and the practical inquiry model. It demonstrates an activity or a process of a given content or topic. Post the topic as a statement starter or a question on a small board and communicates through writing with markers asking questions and to reflect on the answers. The AID CDR activity popularized by Brunner in 1965 is a suggested activity for this strategy. AICDR stands for Ask to Know, Investigate to Analyze, Create to form, discuss to give arguments, and to reflect to introspect. Assessment is through formal and informal observations, discussions, or conferences, tasks done in groups, demonstrations, performances, projects, portfolios, peer and self assessment, and self reflections. Next is the knowledge building community model. It collects or processes the results at the end to use as data for later activities based on the community of learners' participation. This can be tweaked by allowing them to review these results. The EIBU activity is a suggested activity for knowledge building community model. Experience setting up the concept, inform, gather and analyze information, build knowledge, processing and abstraction, understand or the decision making. Assessment is through formal and informal discussions or conferences, tasks done in groups, demonstrations or performances, projects and portfolios, peer and self-assessment, and self-reflections. The third strategy is experiment, an activity of doing investigation. It encourages learners' interest to manipulate objects, test hypotheses, and work together to solve or prove something exciting. In the process, learners are able to see or relate concepts better, thereby contributing to a thorough understanding of concepts. Generally, experiment happens with this sequence. Introduce the activity, ask the learners to state the problem in the form of a question, this will lead them to formulate their hypothesis, allow them to do research and gather information on the problem, guide them to form a hypothesis, ask them to do the experiment to test the hypothesis, allow them to collect, record, and analyze data from the experiment, and let them present their findings for others to comment or react to their findings and state a conclusion based on the results. Standardized tests, quizzes, and homework assignments, open-ended questions that allow learners, teachers, 
or your teachers to reflect on their experience and give an idea of what they did and did not get from the experiment, exhibits and study research presentation may be employed for assessment. Other practical examples are simulation through role plays, games and models, demonstration, concrete and visual way of explaining the topic or realia, Experiment, not only done in a laboratory, any activities which includes scientific processes such as observing, predicting, concluding, data collection, etc. can be considered as experiment. Field study, allowing the learners the real world setting wherein they can experience a real time setting, the knowledge they can gain on a real environment. Project work involves a visual and tangible output. Before giving a project, make sure that teachers only give the learners the criteria of the project, not the total look or package of the project. Do not make a standardized project. The last pedagogical approach is reflective. The one R. Reflective teaching is a process where teachers think over their teaching practices, analyzing how something was taught and how the practice might be improved or changed for better learning outcomes. Some points of consideration in the reflection process might be what is currently being done, why it's being done, and how well students are learning. You can use reflection as a way to simply learn more about their own practice, improve a certain practice, small groups and cooperative learning, for example, or to focus on the problems students are having. This is the approach wherein teachers can reflect and analyze their own practice or teaching strategies. This is where teachers can consider alternative means as tools when standard tools are not available or through localization. Self-evaluation and self-reflection collects information about what goes on inside the classroom, analyzes or evaluates the obtained information by teacher and learner, and engenders improvements in teaching towards effective learning. This strategy makes use of the TTRA activity. Think, analyze patterns occurring during the teaching and learning process, talk, self-talk or group talk done by the teacher or learner source of reflection, read, finding out or making affirmations regarding behavioral patterns, ask, post questions to get ideas or opportunities on an area that interests you to improve or develop. Assessments may be through diary presentation, paper writing, reports, and journals. Other practical examples of reflective approach are multimedia presentation that uses multimedia instructional materials as tools in teaching. Multimedia materials are any material that use electricity. Examples are TV, radio, cellular phones, etc. Second is drill and practice, the repetition after the learners reflect on their skills or learning. Mental modeling, strategies that allow the learners to have the ability to direct their own learning. Let me end this presentation with a very powerful quotation by Andy Hargreaves and Michael Fullan. It is what teachers think, what teachers do, and what teachers are at the level of the classroom that ultimately shapes the kind of learning that young people get. For many of us, teaching is, in essence, about believing that all students can learn and doing anything and everything to help and encourage students to grow and develop as whole people. Teaching is about engagement and designing learning opportunities and environments that focus on what students can do with what they learn and giving learners control, not trying to control learning. It's audiences like you that make presentations awesome. 
Thank you very much for your unwavering attention throughout this presentation. I really hope that you've learned something from it. Good day, everyone.